Hi, my name is Wilson Logan. Today I want to show you my design for an inexpensive Tesla turbine, which I'm hoping that you will be able to build yourself at home. The turbine body consists of two end plates, two inner plates, turbine housing is simply a section of 127mm acrylic tube. The bearing holders are sections of 40mm acrylic tube. The standoffs are half inch, half inch aluminium bar. And the main spindle is 15mm aluminium bar. The bearings are standard 608 skate bearings. Obviously, the more expensive bearing you use, the less friction there will be. These are quite expensive skate bearings. But it is possible to use hybrid ceramic bearings, which are very low friction. The air enters the turbine via an air injector. You can see that the air enters the top and passes through the opening into the turbine housing. It passes through there via this injector, which is simply a piece of nylon turned down, drilled for a hole, and having a hole in the bottom edge. It is inserted like this, and this allows the air to travel from here through the injector and down into the turbine housing. The CDs are assembled onto the axle with the holes in the CDs lined up so that the air may pass in, revolve around inside the disc pack and exit out of the holes. The CDs are held in place by two aluminium bushes. The turbine end plate is attached to the housing followed by the disc pack followed by the injector. Followed by the end plate. The whole thing's held together by the standoffs. The end of the injector is threaded quarter BSP which allows for a variety of different connections. <laughs> 